Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and today I'm gonna to show you how I throw together a really quick creamy tortellini Italian soup. So easy. Um, I'm gonna be using my eight in one Avalon Bay pressure cooker. It also can act as a slow cooker, which is how I'm going to use it. So let me bring you in. I'm gonna show you the ingredients that you're gonna need for this. Like I said, it's super easy. You just dump, turn it on, and let it go. Okay, so for this recipe, you need half a pound of breakfast sausage. You can also use shredded chicken. You can use no meat at all. Um, of course, we are meat eaters, so I'm going to be using half a pound of breakfast pork sausage. You're also going to need at least one package of cheese tortellini. I'm using two packages, uh, just so hopefully we'll have some leftovers later on. You need a block of cream cheese. You need a jar of spaghetti sauce. This is traditional. You could also use marinara, um, or you can use your homemade version. Uh, you will need some salt, pepper, basil, and if you have some chicken broth, use chicken broth. I don't have any, so I'm gonna be using chicken bouillon and water. So here is how we're gonna throw it together. To our slow cooker, we're going to add our sausage. We're going to add our pasta sauce. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna fill this jar up twice with water, or you would do it twice with chicken broth, if that's what you add, two quarts. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add my block of cream cheese. I'm going to add our homegrown basil that we dehydrated, about a, mm, a good pinch, so that's about a half a teaspoon. And then about a teaspoon of black pepper, or to your taste. And then I'm going to add the tortellini and see how it looks. You have to remember that tortellini will expand as it cooks, so once I get these in here, I might have to add more water. We'll see. Okay, this is gonna be, even though it looks really soupy, as the pasta expands and releases starch into the broth, it's gonna thicken the soup, as well as the melted cream cheese. So it's actually gonna be a really creamy, rich soup. All right, to this, I'm gonna add some, this is just some diced bell peppers from our garden from the summer. Is a pretty soup and we haven't even started cooking yet. I'm going to close my lid of my Avalon Bake pressure cooker. I'm going to turn it on, select the slow cooker option, and set it for four hours. Okay guys, it has been four hours in which time we have done school. 
I have made homemade rolls. Would you look at that? I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. These are 30 minute rolls and they are phenomenal. And let's take a look at our soup. Oh my word. Look at that. This is a lot of soup. It's my favorite soup. It costs a, a little less than $5 to make. This will feed us. It should feed us twice if we don't get crazy with it. You mean two servings? I mean, not seconds. I mean, this should feed us supper tonight and lunch tomorrow. Especially if we have them with these yummy, delicious rolls. One thing I will say about the rolls, though, in my personal opinion, they could have used a little more salt. Um, I think the recipe called for half a teaspoon. It probably could have used a whole teaspoon. Personal, personal opinion. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It is so easy. Like I said, just dump it in there, turn it on, forget about it. Make you some crusty bread or yummy rolls. And yeah, a delicious hearty meal. It's cold outside, it's windy. We've got the Christmas tree on and we're gonna sit in the living room and watch SmackDown. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you give this recipe a try and join us again when we share with you our life, our love of liberty, and our pursuit of bacon. Bye y'all.